Hey, what's up guys? I have another item up for sale. This is my full race 3 inch exhaust, uh, which was meant for a uh, Civic SI sedan. So let me just give you a quick tour of the item. It says full race right here. The uh, welds are all in place and have no cracks in them whatsoever. And this is the three inch exhaust adapter, which is meant to pair up to a uh, three inch uh, header. I had this paired up to my Skunk 2 Mega Power header, and this was uh, what the owner suggested I purchase for that header, and it worked perfectly fine. I also ran this for a little bit with a Burke uh, high flow catalytic converter. And uh, the pairing up between this adapter and the uh, aftermarket. Uh, catalytic converter was pretty good. It was a little bit tight because the um, high flow cat was a little bit smaller. But if you have a uh, full race header, this will definitely be a uh, good choice to get. And this is the adapter here, which is mated to the uh, uh, rest of the exhaust with this band clamp. And everything still looks pretty brand new. There are approximately 22,000 miles on this exhaust, but everything is working perfectly fine. This is the gasket with the uh, standard hardware that came with the exhaust, and you will be using this to secure uh, this end to this end right here, which I believe is the resonator. I've posted a review of what I think it sounds like and its performance. Um, as with any exhaust, it's really not going to add a whole bunch of horsepower to your system. But especially for those of you running a uh, supercharger or a turbo, a 3-inch uh, exhaust is uh, often a uh, great modification to make to your system to allow it to breathe a little bit better. I ran this with my uh, Comptech Stage 2 kit and had great results and also ran this with my Kraftwerk Supercharger kit and also had great results as well. Uh, let me show you some of the blemishes with the item. By the way, everything you see in here is what comes with the order, so if there's anything that you think is missing, just uh, shoot me a message and I will uh, try to answer it for you. Uh, blemishes, obviously this is not going to be completely, you know, blemish free. It is an exhaust so it's underneath the car and you know regular um, stone chips are expected but there are absolutely no dents and no cracks in the system whatsoever and it has never been modified in any way or been repaired. Sorry if you guys can't hear me the uh, gardener next door is in the background. This is a small piece of dirt that uh, I was not able to get off but uh, is not a uh, major blemish whatsoever and it definitely will not affect performance. And as for the rest of the exhaust, um, everything looks pretty good. It's still nice and shiny. Okay. The only other blemish I will notice is a little bit of a rattling sound in the, uh, the resonator. So let me bring this here for you. I'm going to put a towel on the ground here. And again, I do apologize for all that noise in the background with the gardener. Okay. Actually, let me bring this to a quieter area. All right, sorry about that, guys. I brought this inside so it could be a little bit quieter, but this is the resonator for the exhaust. And the only major uh, blemish I can see in terms of function, possibly, but I haven't really noticed anything is a rattling sound that the resonator makes. So let me shake this for you. Hey, 
Okay, so you can hear it almost sounds like there's a very, very small stone uh, stuck in the resonator. It's not very loud, and to be honest, when I was running the car and also driving alongside of it while I had my buddy drive it, I couldn't really hear the rattling. But when I did disassemble the, uh, the exhaust, I did notice it, and I was a little bit shocked why. I went ahead and looked inside and could not find anything wrong. There wasn't any uh, puncture in the resonator itself. Um, I do live on a dirt driveway and uh, my car um, is parked there and sometimes when family members drive by they kick up some of the stones and pieces of dirt and occasionally you know I found one or two of those stones inside the exhaust. So I'm not sure if that's what's causing it um, but in terms of tuning and performance issues I didn't notice anything. Um, I reinstalled this exhaust back on my car after I noticed the rattling and did a quick data log and sent it over to have it tuned by eTunis and uh, they didn't notice any problems with my tune, um, no restrictions, um, they couldn't tell if there was a leak. Um, I certainly wasn't throwing any check engine lights so I'm not sure what's causing it and um, you know certainly I invite you to uh, come and look at the exhaust in person if you can just so you can see what I'm talking about but I definitely want to disclose this ahead of time I did not notice any performance issues but regardless there is that you know that rattling sound and I, I can't find a, a way to get out whatever is inside there so pretty much that's uh, what I'm selling. Uh, if you have any questions about the exhaust, uh, uh, what I thought of the sound, I guess I could also comment on that. It's it's definitely going to be louder than stock. Um, if you're running a stock header and a stock catalytic converter, and the only thing you switched out was between the OEM exhaust and the full race, it's definitely going to be louder than, than OEM. I would say probably two or three times louder at partial throttle and probably at least you know five or six times louder at full throttle. Um, do I think it's a bad, bad sound? Absolutely not. I would say it was uh, a little bit raspy when I had my Skunk 2 header, but that was completely attributed to the header because when I put this exhaust back on with my stock header, that raspiness went, uh, went away immediately. And running this um, exhaust with my Kraftwerks uh, supercharger and my stock header I thought sounded absolutely amazing especially at wide open throttle you definitely get a nice deep rumble in the lower rpms and the VTEC just screams you know when you really open it up past you know 4500 or 6500 wherever you have your VTEC changeover set to but anyways uh yep this is the exhaust I'm putting up uh, shoot me a message if you guys have any questions and uh thanks for taking a look